Hi, my name is Tony and this is going to be a short tutorial on how to go through an Excel sheet. I'm first off going to show you some navigational commands and shortcuts and some data shortcuts that will hopefully maximise your usage of your own Excel sheet. So today let's start with a small Excel. It's an ice cream stock list and we're going to, for today's purposes we're going to use an inventory type. So let's get straight to this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use shortcuts. So if you're on your inventory list or your own Excel and you want to go from your position in the table to say the bottom row, if you hold the control and down arrow key, it will take you to the bottom row within your table. If you want to get back to the top, you press again the control and up key and this takes you to the top of the table. This also works for navigating right to left, so if you hold the control key and the right arrow, you'll end up to the right hand side of the table and if you hold the control key and the left arrow you'll end up to the left side of the table and that's a quick way of navigating around your table if you get a longer uh, or more data in your table this becomes much more useful um, and also if you know that the data you're looking for is say the bottom row, bottom right hand corner if you're trying to get the quantity and order of the last row you can press down, right and that's just straight to that data column so, Let's go into this. Say you want to know in your stock that you want to know the overall stock value you have in your inventory. You might want to go ahead and count this up. Now there's some easy quick commands you can use in Excel. The first one being the sum. So I'll go ahead and say if I want to know what the total inventory sum is, I would go down here and uh, leave one gap and say equals. That lets Excel know that you're going to perform a command. So in this instance we want to say sum, open up brackets, type in the first column of row that I want, which is G4. I want to say semicolon, which is telling me that I want to go from G4 to the last cell. And the last cell that I want to count to is G28. So I'm just typing G28, close the brackets. And here presto, there's your total or the sum of these cells. So that's you got the sum or total. Now, if you also want to know for your own benefit um, what the average value is in your stock, um, this would be comparison purpose to see what you get most of and less of. If you want to know the actual average, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Use the equals command, type in average, Open up your brackets, type in your first row of data, which is G4, semicolon through to the last row of data, which is G28, close brackets, and there you have your average value. Um, the next thing you might want to know is what's your maximum, as in what is the stock you have the most of. So if you put this max, Go over here and say equals max, open up brackets, G4, semicolon, G28, again close the brackets, that will run and let you know the max. If you want to know the min value of the same column, it doesn't matter which column you actually want to know this information from, if you just put the row that you want to have the data of, would it be a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, it makes a difference. So here we're going to go equals. We are interested in this time as the minimum command. And start cell for us is G4 and through to G28. So for us, we've run through that quick list between total, average, maximum, min. Now you might wonder what is the purpose of these commands? So for example, max. For this Excel, the reason why I've chosen this, if I can quickly show you that the maximum value of our stock, the one we have the most value in our storeroom would be lavender. So I can quickly look at this and say that we've got nearly £850 worth of stock and we've got 211 units still available. So this means that if I want to know where my cash flow is tied up within the business, this is a very good indicator to tell you where that is. 
And if you compare that to what the average stock value is, you can see that there's more than £540 worth of stock difference between the average value and this value. So it probably tells me that I should go ahead and change the reorder value to maybe something more appropriate because it's obviously not selling very well. Um, I may have to look at the price. Um, same goes for minimal. If you look at the minimum value, you can see the minimum stock's 10. So this is something that either there's not enough stock of. Here we can look at Mint. Um, it's got a stock quantity of 5, uh, which means it's got an only inventory value of £10. So that tells me that I should have a quite a lot of restock. Um, so the reorder quantity is 150, and there's a two-day lead time, so that might be okay. Or I might have to... Increase this value from 150 to maybe 250 if it's a good seller. But this is something that you can do in your profit and loss sheet. But this is a very good idea to let you know what's in your inventory. Um, so that's the, the idea between min, max, average, and the total sum.